Hey guys, Force Bear Studios here with our hey. box of Kaladash. It's pretty exciting stuff. We got our buyer box promo. Our yeah. Skyship Stalker. Oop. Yeah. Does some stuff. It's pretty, yeah, he, he does a lot of things. Good limited card. Good limited card. You can just tear this plastic off. Where's the quick way? There never is a quick way. Just to fix that real quick. There we go. Yeah, seems good. <laughs> it's like nothing ever happened. So, uh, Atkiss is going first because he uh, won, I guess, yesterday's video. Yes. Ooh, I like these packs. Got a nice little color palette going there. I was expecting it to be a little more goldish, but. Uh, I really like her armor. Yeah, it's Thanks. pretty good. So, uh, if you've never seen one of these unboxing videos before, uh, he'll take half, and then I'll take half. And uh, we'll see who wins in terms of money, and then that will determine who goes first well, when we do Super Sealed next week. Four, eight, twelve. Four. Two sixes. Okay. Is that the, that's the stack I get? He the stack you get. Okay. We'll leave it here as like a, this is the future, <laughs> sort of thing. Dolan Band, start us off. Yep. Hopefully we can open him. That would be nice. <gasps> Already, so, we got a very good common. Ooh, that is a very good common. So, some stuff. Dayang, this is a very sad card. Yeah, it really is. They did nail the art for it. First uncommon is Long Fin Sky Whale. I guess <laughs> Plankton also flies in this world. Yeah, why not? Because otherwise, I don't know what the whale would eat. <laughs> Veteran motorist. Glint Nest Crane. And, and Chandra. Rare. Chandra. No. Botanical Sanctum. Those are always good, though. Yeah, it's fast. It's line. a good. It's a good cycle of lands. And oh, a foil torch gauntlet. Oh, it's on. It's on. It's on. Got welds of stuff. Yeah. And an island. The basic land art in this is really sweet. Really is. Like, cards. imagine if that was full art. Yeah. Yeah. It'd be amazing. It would be pretty great. I'll take these. Second pack. Is... Stardust Reunion's pretty sad, too, actually. Well, uh, yeah, I guess that's true. When you think your daughter died, and then all of a sudden it's like, hey, I was just on a few other planes. Yeah. Hanging out. Have a good cry about daddy. That is true. So, uh, uh, another whale. Ooh, that's always good news. Hopefully we can open some uh, masterpieces, like five yeah. of them. That'd be great. That'd be, yeah. Let's that. do that. Unlikely, but it would be I, great. I would like to get one just so I could like look at it, because I haven't seen one in person, and I'm excited to do that. We do have our first vehicle. Oh, uh, yeah. Good. It's a sweet mechanic. Not a glint nest crane. And a rare is... Chandra? Padim, console of innovation. Okay. Was that... Artifacts do? you control have hexproof, and at the beginning of your upkeep, if you control an artifact with the highest converted mana cost, or tied with the highest converted mana cost, draw a card. Oh, that's kind of cool. Four mana, one four. You gotta impress them. Yeah. Four mana is a bit steep, but... It's a bit. Ah, eh, forced. Sweet art, though. Here's a Chandra pack. Okay. I'm gonna hold you to that, you know. <laughs> well, I mean, she's on the packaging. It's true. You aren't lying. Good old camel. <laughs> Can't go wrong with a camel. Do you think uh, the land desert's gonna be in the next set? Like Maybe. the next set of this block? A cat better. monkey. Cat monkey? It's cat monkey. Willy Bandar. That's pretty sweet. I'm sorry, did you say Willy? That's that's the name, Willy Bandar. Oh my god. And he's Cat Monkey. <laughs> How is that not legendary? I, I think that's the name of the species. <laughs> I don't know. He looks like the Grinch. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Interesting card. Stealing some Christmas. Chief of the Foundry is our first uncommon. It's a good one. Second uncommon is Fur Furious Reprisal. 
a durable handicraft. Yeah. And a hey. Verdinus Gear Hulk. That's pretty good. First Mythic. That's a pretty good one. It's a decent one, yeah. Five mana, four, four. It's artifact creature construct. It's got Trample, and when he enters the battlefield, distribute four plus one plus one counters among any number of target creatures you control. So this is like Power Creep 101 here. This yeah. is pretty ridiculous. This is, this is like an eight power five drop. Yeah. But half of it has haste. And it has trample. And it has trample. So That's if you absurd. don't give half of it haste, <laughs> then it all gets trample. It's a very Jeez. good card. And the planes. Okay. <laughs> and now they felt it. That's pretty good though. It's pretty good pretty good pull. Pretty threatening. Yeah. Definitely a limited bomb. Off camera, I'm going to take a look at this Grinch. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> if only that card was a little better. I'd love to have a Cat Monkey Tribal Deck. Cat Monkey Tribal Deck. Some stuff. Whirler Virtuoso. What? I, I think I was... For so yeah, there we go. <laughs> I just completely screwed that up. Like, is this another, like, Willy Bandar? <laughs> Should this be legendary? That's pretty too? good. <laughs> a foundry inspector. Inspect those foundries. An Armorcraft judge. And a Chandra? And. A Chandra? It is. A Chandra? Cultivator's Caravan. That's not a Chandra. <laughs> it's a vehicle. So it's three mana. It's an artifact vehicle. You can tap it to add one mana of any color to your mana pool, or it has crew three, and it becomes a 5-5. Five five. So it's a birdmobile? That's pretty sweet. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. It's funny, though. If you crew it, then you can't tap it for mana anymore on the turn it comes into play. Oh, that is kind of funny, yeah. Because it gets summoning sickness. It, yeah. It has summoning sickness. It, it, it it's effective. Once it becomes sickness, yeah. a creature. But not beforehand. <laughs> Very relevant for if you're uh, mind slavering somebody that has that out. <laughs> you just had to cast that. Yeah. I really like the art style in this set. Yeah. They use a lot of co different colors and it's, mm -hmm. it's fancy. Nothing worth a mention. Was that mm -hmm. a doopy horse? Was that a blue doopy horse? No, that's a Windrake. Oh. Good old Windrake. You know? right. He's always he's still good. I he's can't been good for, for you know the... years and <laughs> limited and still shows up and is good. Would we versus puzzle knot? I don't know if the puzzle knot cycle is good or not. Foundry inspector. I'm guessing not. An armorcraft judge. Mm-hmm. Visionary augmenter. And Chandra. Has a power suit. And a Chandra. And a Chandra? That's not a Chandra. A bristling Hydra. <laughs> Four mana. Creature Hydra, 4-3. When it enters the battlefield, you get 3 energy. Pay 3 energy, put a plus 1, plus 1 counter on Bristling Hydra. It gains Hexproof until end of turn. That's pretty good. Yeah, it's fine. It's Dece. And? Forest. <laughs> and you almost dropped it. And I almost dropped it. <laughs> Alright, so... This is another Chandra pack. Yeah, so better pull a Chandra... Better pull actually a foil Chandra in this one. I don't think it's asking for too much to get a Masterpiece... And a Foil Mythic. And a Foil Mythic. Yeah, probably the same box. Built to smash. <laughs> we'll smash it. Some nonsense. Some more nonsense. Wait, is that a robotic elephant? That is a robotic elephant. That's, That's pretty, pretty sweet. good. For that robotic elephant tribal deck. The long test cub. Build. It's bear that you can make a 3-3. Three -three. Something yep. like power creep. Diabolic Tutor. That Lili was in the set? I didn't even know that. Yeah. Cool. It's Liliana. Oh. Telling Chandra, was, you know, bad ideas. It's a good idea. <laughs> Inventor's Apprentice or the Artifact Curd Ape. Sweet. And a rare is Chandra? Cultivator of Blades. I don't think that's a Chandra. I don't think she's been cultivating many blades. It's five mana. It's Creature, Elf, Artificer. It's a 1-1. One, one. It's got Fabricate 2. And whenever it attacks, you may have other attacking creatures you control get plus X plus X until end of turn, where X is Cultivator of Blades power. Seems okay. Yeah. Good limited card, but yeah. I'm not sure to see any constructed play. No. And a Planes. Nice looking Planes. It is a nice looking Planes. 
All right, so we're so far we're batting one mythic. I think the last box we opened had like eight mythics because it was the one that Frosty and I did, and it had like yeah. eight mythics, but like I opened like seven of them and they all sucked. <laughs> you got the Ishkana. Yeah, I guess that was the only that was the only good one. Dramatic reversal. Haha, ha, all the planeswalkers just show up for lulls. <laughs> Solves all the problems. Now, if only we could have all the planeswalkers show up in this pack. That would be nice. I mean, I don't know how, because there's three of them, and there's only a, no, one rare and it's one like a, It's slot. like an oops, we <laughs> we screwed up. <laughs> Doesn't seem so. Aether Touch Renegade. Could still happen. You don't know. Filigree Familiar. I'm pretty familiar with that card. A brazen Scourge. And, and Chandra. rare is, is Chandra? Demon of Dark Schemes. Well, that's a mythic. Right. I do like the name of this. Yeah, yeah it's a mythic. So it's a six mana. It's a creature demon. It's a five five with flying. And when it enters the battlefield, all other creatures get minus two, minus two until end of turn. Oh, this one, yeah. And whenever another creature dies, you get one wingding or an energy. A <laughs> wingding. <laughs> and then you Pretty can much. pay two and a black. And four energy to put target creature card from yeah. the graveyard onto the battlefield under your control tap. Reminds me a lot of Massacre Worm, but it's just way better. But rather than, you know, killing yeah. the opponent, you just yeah. steal the good things. Yeah. And it flies a demon. And it flies. Yeah. It's, it's a five, demon. 5 5 flyer. It's an excellent body. And it's got a great body. A swamp to help cast it. Okay. <laughs> and an absolute nothing. Not even a token. We didn't Not even get a, a servo. Ah. Wow. Five mana, three, four flyer. Wonder if that's still good in this day and age. I guess failed no. inspection. Aha! Another cathartic reunion. Probably want four copies of that. Yep. The dredge nuttiness. Yep. Tezzer's ambition. I kind of wish it was an uncommon. First thing uncommon is make obsolete. Just like that card that we were just yeah. talking about. Our second uncommon is Voltaic Brawler, which is just insane. Yeah. Two mana it's for a 3-2 with two energy, so we can yeah. attack twice as a 4-3 for two mana. <laughs> Power creep. Yep. Aether Meltdown. I don't know. And it's a red and a green. It's is. Is a Chandra? Skyship oh. Stalker. I got excited for a it second. It looks familiar. It does look it's familiar. It's different art. Yeah. So and? Does a bunch of stuff. An island. Ah. Oh. I got excited because I saw a flash of red. And my eyes lit up. <gasps> I thought, hey, it's gonna hey. be a Chandra. But it wasn't. It wasn't bad. It wasn't. No such luck. There's still time. Yeah, that's true. Maybe it's in yours. I, with my luck, probably not. <laughs> I don't know when the last time I won one of these was, but I feel like it's been a while. Another Voltaic Brawler. So first uncommon. It's good. Second uncommon, Aether Meltdown. It's probably another one we want four of. Third uncommon is Incendiary Sabotage. And Chandra? And is a rare Chandra? is... Is it Chandra? Inventor's uh. Fair. At the beginning of your upkeep, if you control three or more artifacts, you gain one life. Taps for colorless. You can pay four, tap, and sack it to search your library for an artifact card, reveal it, put it into your hand, then shuffle your library. Seems Activate okay. this ability only if you control three or more artifacts. So it's Metalcraft without Metalcraft. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's the Inventor's Fair. they got to show off all the artifacts sure. and stuff, even sure. if they just don't Oh, that is a, mechanic. That, that's a story whatever card, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, story spotlight. Yeah. One out of five. Yeah. And Mountain. All right. At least, uh, at least there's some flavor involved. There is some flavor. That one. Good old thriving turtle. <laughs> Can't go wrong with a tortoise. That's what I always say. Mr. Boobster can attest that. I'm always saying that. Who doesn't like turtles? <laughs> Nothing else worth... No, not really note. in the comments. No. First uncommon is underhanded designs. I love the design of that card. I actually Second don't know uncommon is the artifact. Curdy. That was a joke. No, we might Third want uncommon is a Minister of, of Inquiries. And a Chandra? And a rare is, a is Paradoxical Outcome. All right. Four mana for an instant. Return any number of target non-land, non-token permanents you control to their owner's hand. Draw a card for each card returned this, to your hand this way. That seems okay. 
The results of Rashimi's experimentations forced her to consider the possibility that multitudinous realities existed beyond her own. So I think she figured out that there's a multiverse. Apparently, yeah. So that might be a problem. It's a little slow. It's a little slow to the uh, point. Maybe. Oh, maybe they'll they'll come up with a machine that like ignites sparks. In that'd the be, next set, that'd be pretty threatening. It'd be pretty good. <laughs> you get a spark. You get a spark. Everyone gets a spark. <laughs> And all, uh, like, they have a card that's based on that, and all it does is it adds the planeswalker super type <laughs> to a creature. <laughs> That'd be a rules nightmare. Yeah, it would. <laughs> but think of the flavor. But what happens when you don't, because you have to make them all prevent damage like Gideon does, so they don't adjust loyalty counters in combat. That's a good point. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, it'd be a rules nightmare. <laughs> Yeah, just be like their converted mana cost is now their planeswalker loyalty, and it doesn't but have any what, abilities. But when they damage them, it would damage them and the loyalty counters. Oh yeah, I guess time. so, huh? Hmm. First uncommon is a shrewd negotiation. Second uncommon is a servant of the conduit. Third uncommon is a spark of creativity, which I think is a little different from a planeswalker spark. Yeah, it's pretty and creative, rare. Though. Is is it Chandra? Scrap heat's grounder. I don't remember her being colorless. No. Two mana, it's artifact creature construct. It's a 3-2, and it can't block. And you can pay one, a black, and exile another creature card from your graveyard to return them from the b- graveyard to the battlefield. Seems pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. Good dredge card. Yeah. And it's no Icarid, but... A mountain. Reminds me of Icarid. It's true. Yeah. It can be the modern Icarid. Are you saying Icarid is old and out of touch with... <laughs> I'm saying Icarid's never going to get printed in a modern eagle set. <laughs> well, because then graveyard order would matter, right? <laughs> exactly. That and just power level concerns. Yeah. Well, they, at least they have Bloodgast. Ooh, that's a good one. Sky Skiff. Yeah. Sweet card. Seems Sweet insane card. and popper. Torch Gauntlet. First uncommon is a fire fretwork colony. Okay. Second uncommon is some shrewd negotiation. Can we negotiate our way to a Chandra? Third uncommon is pack? servant of the conduit. Please. And please. Did you negate? Why are you negate? Please. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Where are you negate? Wow, I can't spell. <laughs> I can't say negotiation all of a sudden. Negotiation. <laughs> Was it successful? Uh no. Nope. It Lost wasn't. legacy. This uh. Yeah. Three mana. Name a non-artifact, non-land card. Search target player's graveyard hand and library for any number of cards with that name and exile them. That player shuffles his or her library, then draws a card for each card exiled from hand this way. This seems really interesting in like a Mist Hollow Griffin sort of deck, like a food chain Yeah. shell. Um, I'm a little annoyed that they didn't have a picture of someone that was actually like critical to magic lore in the mirror. Chandra's dead. Is that Chandra's dead? Yeah. Oh, never mind. I was kind of hoping it would be like Mishra or, you know, like someone old. I, I don't think they'd, you know, be on Kaladesh. Yeah, but... So I guess there are, we're planeswalkers. Yeah. Island. Because it's like a lost legacy. Because, I mean, someone brought Mox oh. Opal to the plane, assuming Tezzeret. Yeah. Oh, that is Chandra's dad. It never even, didn't even occur to me. Huh. Because he died. Yeah, you definitely did die. He died of uh, dysentery, I hear. That'd be a horrible way to go. Yeah. yeah. Scurvy. <laughs> Another Willy Bandar. Willy. Willy, 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 Willy. The, like, Cat Monkey is just a very simic thing. It is. Know? It's a pretty it's weird simic thing. First Uncommon is an Iron League steed. I would like a Cat Monkey at home. That'd be Second good. Uncommon kind of... is... Yeah. Yeah. Because it hate you and it throw poo everywhere. Yeah, it would. It'd be great. <laughs> Second uncommon is a console sealed guard. Oh, Third uncommon is a disappearing act. And it's not a shaman, but what hopefully, is it? Hopefully what's under it can disappear and a Chandra can take it. Gear of Poor Ori. Okay. Each player may play an additional land on each of his or her turns. At the beginning of each player's upkeep, that player has no cards in hand. That player draws three cards. This is actually kind of a sweet card. It really is. Yeah. And it foils and Chandra? Swamp. That's a swamp is what that is. We got five packs left. So five Chandras. We can do this. I mean, you could do this. (laughs) 
so far, I think probably that Gear Hulk is the uh, number one pick. Probably. I mean, a high tide hermit. I don't know if that's going to rival the price tag. <laughs> <laughs> if it was closer to high tide, then it would. Maybe. Because that's like a dollar seventy. Live fast, the opposite <laughs> of Die Young. Is that a card in the set? Yeah, we already showed Die Young. Did we? So this is Live Fast. If only this Young. was a if only this was a split card. Yeah. Live well fast, it's like him Young. holding the rose and then it's like the rose on the ground. And yeah. Dissolving. Yeah, yeah. It's a sad story. Told him two cards. Right. Nothing worth north worth of the little for commons, nah. <laughs> Give an Iron League steed as the like first how, uncommon. I like how you knew what I was trying to say, and it just came out <laughs> as gibberish. So that's pretty good. Second uncommon is Engineered Might. Third uncommon is a Disappearing Act. That's what Chandra's pulling on us. First rare is and a Chandra. First rare is... It's a Chandra. Oh. Wildest Dreams. <laughs> I mean, it does match how we're hoping to open a Chandra. Maybe Turn X target cards from your graveyard to your hand. Exile wildest dreams. Well, Chandra? And? No. No. That's a forest. It's a forest. That's probably the furthest thing from Chandra. Well, if I she mean, was it there, is... it would burn down. That's, I, yeah, actually, that's true. The two cannot coexist. <laughs> Some stoof. Need more cat monkeys. Yeah. That's what we need. First uncommon is Aerial Responder. It's a three mana, two, three with flying vigilance and lifelink. It's kind of like a white nighthawk. Yeah. Somewhat. Somewhat. I mean, it doesn't have the death touch, which is a very that's, potent That's ability, pretty important. But it's still a pretty good card. Yeah. Second uncommon is Make Obsolete. Third uncommon is a sequestered stash. And hopefully we can make that obsolete by pulling a Chandra underneath this card. That's not a Chandra. Fumigate. Five mana sorcery. Destroy all creatures. You gain one life for each creature destroyed this way. Do you think that's good enough for standard? Well, I think, yeah. Yeah? It does allow you to slow roll it a bit more. Yeah. Because the life gain can make up for waiting. Foil Chandra? And? Foil Chandra? Foil Oval Chase Daredevil. Yep. I wouldn't chase that oval. Yeah. Ooh, oh, Dovin Bond. Dovin Bond emblem. Ban? Is it Bond? Ban? It must be Bond, right? Because there's two Dovin A's. Dovin Bond? Yeah. Yeah. One of those. Also, it's not a real word, so it doesn't matter. The name. Yeah. Like, it's not a real person. No one's getting offended that they got their name Dovin Bond said incorrectly. What's this emblem even do? I don't even remember. Your opponents can untap more than two permanents during their untap steps. It's pretty, pretty potent. Yeah. First uncommon is an underhanded designs. Second uncommon is a whirler virtuoso. Virtuoso. Okay. Virtuoso. <laughs> yeah, apparently I can't. That is a word. <laughs> can't say that word. Third uncommon is a minister of inquiries. Ah. Uh, and I didn't see a Chandra under there. And that was a black card, so it's not a Chandra, but it's... Eliminate the competition. Man. Five mana sorcery is an additional cost. Cast eliminate the competition. Sacrifice X creatures. Destroy X creatures. That's not good. I mean, in a tokens deck. See how much it costs? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is a bit of a problem. And a swamp. Sweet looking swamp. That I just love that one in foil. Swamp. Oh my god, that would be yeah. amazing. That's servo. Two left. Chandra, can do it. You, you can still pull four Chandras. Can still be done. So you've opened two mythics so far, right? Two mythics. One was poop. One was pretty good. Oh well, no, both, actually they're, they're both, both good. good. Yeah. yeah, they're both pretty good. Mm -hmm. Train can't go wrong with a train. No. Nope. Can't stop the train either. The set needs more horses, though, I've decided. Needs more horses? Like yeah. Like a horse vehicle? Yeah. Ooh, that'd be cool. First uncommon is Engineered Might. Then you could have a horse riding a horse. <gasps> That's incredible. That'd be amazing. With, an, like, uh, horsemanship enchantment <laughs> on it or something? So it's like... 
He's really good at riding himself. Second uncommon is Blossoming Defense. Uh, Third uncommon is Creeping Mold. Hopefully we can wipe away the mold and find a Chandra. That's not a Chandra. Panharmonicon. Four mana. If an artifact or creature entering the battlefield causes a triggered ability of a permanent you control to trigger, that ability triggers an additional time. Pretty sweet. I, if anyone has any ideas of how to break this card, leave them in the comments, because we would love to play a deck that breaks this card. Yeah. Enter the battlefield triggers are always fun. Yeah. Doubling them up. Double Foils the Chandra. fun. Forest. Foil Chandra. Servo. Foil Chandra. Hopefully in here. <laughs> the last one. The last chance. For you. For me. I still got the, I got this lovely sack to, uh, I'm gonna smell it. I'm gonna smell it. Oh. It's better once you open them and smell it. Yeah, I know, but we'll get to it. We'll get there. Don't you worry about that. Whoop. They'll do the please open a uh, shadow dance. First uncommon is an aerial responder. Second uncommon is a visionary augmenter. Third uncommon is a sequestered stash. And our rare is Master Trinketer. Servos and Thopters you control get plus one, plus one. Four mana, create a one, one colorless servo creature token. It's a three mana, three, two, and it's a dwarf artificer. It's not terrible. It's Full Chandra, though, is better. Oh, uh, planes. Well, planes. We'll take it, though, because that's yeah. sweet. Planes are the ones that we lack foils in, so that's good. Are they really? Good. I didn't yeah. even know that. So that was probably the winner of your stack, Foil Planes. Yeah, there, Foil Planes. I would say. And, <laughs> Definitely uh, not one of the two mythics. And we'll go ahead and swap positions and uh, do my half. All right. My half, I spread it out here, and the reason that I did that is because I'm going to do a super boopster rub for luck. <gasps> Whoop. So hopefully that, that yields some, uh, some, good, some good stuff here. Um, put him right there. All right. So I'm going to start right here, and uh, we'll see what we get. Hopefully it's a whole bunch of stuff. So that, that, that. That's a goat. goat. My god, that's a goat. Oops. Can't go wrong with a goat. I ruined everything. Do Go through these a little faster. Ooh, Sky Skiff. That's a good one. Chief of the Foundry. Incendiary sabotage, durable handicraft, and a torrential gear hulk. Nice. First, first one's the first mythic. It's not the uh, it's not the mythic that I wanted, but it's uh, pretty sweet. So six mana, five six with flash, and when it enters the battlefield, you may cast target instant card from your graveyard without paying its mana cost. If that card would be put in your graveyard this turn, exile it instead. It's okay. Snapcaster is way better. And a mountain. Well, it's just and servo. It's big brother of Snapcaster. Like, when Snapcaster gets picked on, that shows up. I guess, yeah. Oh, is that the one that has the three little dudes in it, too? In the art? Um. Yeah, it's got the little yeah. dudes on the platform. Hopefully you can see this. Put it up there. Um, yeah. So, you can kind of see how gigantic it is. It's pretty gigantic. He just steps on the bullies. Yeah. So, we'll do this. Or he uses his hose hand. Yeah. Crack open this pack. That one cracked quite nicely. So, some stuff that I'm going to skip through. First in common, Essence Extraction. Glimmer of Genius. Servo Exhibition. And I'm not even going to look. I'm going to look to the side. I'm going to pull it. Nice. And then, okay. Ooh, sweet. It's a Planeswalker. Dovin Bond. Two <laughs> Mythics in a row. Wow. Wow. That's pretty crazy. So, Dovin Bond, uh, we got his emblem. We did get his emblem. Uh, costs four mana, two colorless, and a or two generic, and a white and a blue. Three loyalty. Till your next turn, up to one target creature gets minus three, minus seven. Its activated abilities can't be activated. That's its plus one. His yes. minus one, gain two life and draw a card. And his minus seven is get an emblem with your opponents. Can't untap more than two permanents during their untap steps. Is it too much to ask for a foil Chandra underneath this? Yes, turns out. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I'm okay with that, though. That's, that's pretty good. So we'll uh, move right along. Ooh, this is one of those those ones we could, like, put some crappy cards back in here and then, and then like, tape it up and then resell it. 
but we're not going to do that because that's a horrible thing to do, and you should never even think of doing that. Thriving turtle. Everyone likes a turtle. I Man, spotted a foil in there by accident. I don't know what it is, but there is one. The Oval Chase Daredevil. Aether Touch Renegade. Fairgrounds Trumpeter. And it worked last time, not looking at it, so I'm going to look up this time. And I'm going to just pull it. And then we're going to look down and see a captured by the consulate. Which I believe is a story spoiler. Oh, it is too. Two out of five. Two out of five. Yeah. So uh, that costs three color... Three... I'm just going to say colorless. Okay. Three colorless and a white. Enchant... Enchantment, aura, chant creature you don't control. Chant a creature can't attack whenever an opponent casts a spell. If it has ooh, a single target, change the target to enchanted creature if able. It's kind of sweet. And a foil is veteran motorist. It's a red, white, three, one, does some stuff. I'm not even going to say it because it's just not common. And there's a swamp. He likes to drive fast. And there's a servo. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with, uh, with mine so far. Throw that one there. Go through all this. If you see anything interesting, I think I see another train. Ooh. There's more than one train? I think there's two trains. Jeez. I wonder if they're going to hit each other in the next set. Essence Extraction. Old Chase Dragster. Servo Exhibition. This time I'm going to look down. And I'm going to pull it. And we're going to look up and see Concealed Courtyard. It's kind of sweet. Pretty good. And I think there might be another foil in here. Because I feel like there's a lot of cards left. So we got Foil Trusty Companion. It's a hyena. 3-2 two for 2 with Vigilance, and it can't attack alone. Because it's but trusty. it can block alone. It can block alone. So it, That's true. It's, it's pretty So it'll defend yeah. you, but it needs a friend to leave. Mm -hmm. You have to get someone to walk the dog for you. Or walk your hyena. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Gonna go through some more stuff. I've done well with foils so far, actually. Yeah, you have. Got quite a few foils. Oval Chase Daredevil. Start your engines. Fairgrounds Trumpeter. And Chandra? No. Bowmat Courier. One mana, one one, haste. Uh, when it attacks, exile top card of your library face down. You can pay a red, discard your hand. To sacrifice, Bowmat Carrier. Put all cards exiled with Bowmat... It's Courier. I don't know why I'm saying Carrier. Into their owner's hands. That's kind of cool. I suppose? Yeah. And we got a planes and a Chandra emblem. So, you know, we got a Dovin Bond emblem. We did. So you know what that means. That means we have to have Frosty buy a box and open it to open the Chandra. So yeah. My half exactly. had the emblem and you had the Dovin yeah. Bond. So uh, stay tuned for that. <laughs> like, well, that's going to happen. Uh, another goat. Always a good sign. Goat followed by turtle is uh, a good way to start off any anything. Harsh scrutiny. Nature's Way, Quicksmith Genius, and Aether Squall Ancient. I know there aren't starter decks, but this, I, I can tell without even reading it or knowing what it does that this is probably a starter deck rare, even though there aren't starter <laughs> even decks. Even though there's no starter decks. So it costs seven mana, it's a six six, flying. At the beginning of your upkeep, you get three energies, or wingdings. <laughs> three wingdings. And then you can pay, what is that, eight wingdings to return all other creatures to their owner's hands, activate this only any time you could cast a sorcery. It's kind of cool that it just gives you energy. Maybe yeah. that's abusable, but seven mana. Come on. Seven mana. It's your late game payoff for all the energy you collect. I guess. And a planes. And a construct. Durr. 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 Okay. I'm going to centralize these a little bit. Well, that, that wasn't why I did it, but I'm <laughs> it's a good side effect, I suppose. Infinity card. Yeah. So we have Fairgrounds Warden. Elegant Edge Crafters. Whirler Maker. I imagine it makes some Whirlers. things. And Chandra. No. Madcap Experiment. Three. I mean, he's got goggles like Chandra. That's a good point. Three generic, one red. Reveal cards from the top of your library until you reveal an artifact. Put that card onto the battlefield and the rest onto the bottom of your library in a random order. Madcap Experiment deals damage to you equal to the number of cards revealed this way. Kind of cool. It is pretty cool. Might be abusable. Who knows? And... And... Oh. Yeah, it's a three mana, zero, three. Fabricate one for each. It has a name, but I'm not even going to say it. Mountain. Servo. That was actually a darker foil than... 
kind of interesting. It's like they uh, went a little heavy with the ink on that one. He's got a tiny deer. Oh, he does too. Or it's a giant elf. <laughs> Could you ever consider too. that? Uh, oh, another Thardic reunion. Did I believe it's a story card? Is it actually a story card? No. No, it's not. No. Should be. See, there was a train. Yeah. Can't stop the train. Nature's way. It's just nature's way. Quicksmith genius. Console's shield guard, and I'm going to look to my right, and I'm going to pull it, and I'm going to slowly turn my head, and yeah. Animation module. One mana. Whenever one or more plus one plus one counters are placed on a permanent you control, you can pay one colorless. If you do, create a one one colorless servo artifact creature. And then you can pay three and tap it to choose a counter on target permanent or player and give that permanent or player another counter of that kind. I don't know why they didn't just say proliferate. Because that's can't name proliferate literally it's just copy. proliferate, right? Well, that's, yeah, like the fair has all the artifact things. I just can't name them. Yeah. I suppose. Maybe this is where they started. That went open nicely. Well, maybe. We'll see. Yeah! I've done it successfully. And Metalcraft and even Affinity are all on the plain New Phyrexia as it is now. Yeah. Yeah. Filigree familiar. Brazen Scourge. Refurbish. And I'm going to be quick with this. Multiform Wonder. Five mana. Three, three. When it enters the battlefield, you get three energy. You can pay an energy. And it gains your choice of Flying Vigilance or Lifelink. And, or you can pay an energy. And it gets plus two, minus two, or minus two, plus two until end of turn. That's kind of cool. It it's kind of cool. It does do a lot of stuff. Ooh. Darken Art. It's the best. Forest. Doctor. Ah. Okay, so we need a Chandra and we need a Masterpiece still. Maybe, uh, maybe they'll both be in this pack. That'd be quite the pack. It'd be quite the pack. And a foil Chandra while we're at it. <laughs> I don't know if that takes the... Master- it probably takes the foil slot, yeah. Aetherborn Marauder. Ceremonious Rejection. Creeping Mold. And a Chandra. No, it's a Blooming Marsh. Blooming Marsh. It's good, though. It's a... The Golgari Fastland. Swamp. Servo. Fastland's good. Fastland's good. Fastland's yes. Yes, Fastland's. Fastland's good. Fastland's good. Ooh, I can... probably change modern somewhat. I can re-perch Mr. Booster here. Uh, uh. Gonna start off with a crab. Always a good start. Well, <laughs> I don't know if you'd want to start I mean, your day out with crabs. Kermit out of that name, it'd be a good card. It's true. Oval Chase Dragster. Wisp Weaver Angel. Restoration Gearsmith. And... Yeah. Uh, Ovaya Pashiri, I assume. Sage Lifecrafter. Cost one green. It's a one-two. Legendary. Uh, you can pay two and a green to tap it and create a one-one servo. Or you can pay four and a green to tap it and make a XX Construct. Where X is the number of creatures you control. So it's at least a 2-2. Two, two. It's at least a 2-2. Two, two. And... Resolution doesn't change. Planes. Planes. I slow rolled that for nothing. I knew there were only two cards there. I could feel it in my hands. <laughs> Alright, Ruinous Gremlin. Don't know why I even said that. It's not even worth a mention. Train. Train. Okay, so we have a Hazardous Conditions, Fretwork Colony, Experimental Aviator, and Chandra. No, it's a Territorial Gorger. Wow, that's weird looking. That's a weird looking thing. So it costs... Reverend. Yeah. Costs three and a red, so two, two, trample. Whenever you get one or more energy, it gets plus two, plus two until end of turn. Cool. It's pretty nifty. And uh, no foil in this pack. Sad. Very sad. Okay, Mr. Boopster. It worked last time, so let's have you break dance on these a little. And then uh, see what we get. Perk. Built to smash. Smash it. Okay, we have hazardous conditions once again. Refurbish. 
That almost seems playable. Hmm. Yeah. Experimental Aviator. And a Chandra. No. Nope. It's a Gaunty Lord of Luxury. So it costs two and two black. Two, three. Death Touch. And a wall of text that I almost don't want to read. But uh, when he enters the battlefield, look at the top four cards of target opponent's library, exile one of them face down, and put the rest on the bottom of that library in a random order for as long as that card remains exiled. You may look at it, you may cast it, and you may spend mana as though it were any mana, or as if it blah, 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 were mana of any type to cast it. Be pretty good with pan harmonic, monicon. Yeah. Cards. Hunt the weak. Hunt the weak. And some stuff. These cards look really the goal nice. Is to just flicker him enough that you exile your whole opponent's library. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, there's probably better ways to kill them with infinite flickering. It's the most creative way. <laughs> I thought that would work out kind a little like better. A pack opening. Yeah, <laughs> All right. it worked out better in my head. So, I got a bunch of stuff. Here we're gonna speed through. Weapon craft enthusiast. Really cool art on this. Uh, perpetual timepiece, veteran motorist, and get a little peek. Star fact. Aether Flux Reservoir. Nice. This is kind of sweet. It has storm, basically. Kinda. Kinda has storm. So it costs four. Whenever you cast a spell, you gain one life for each spell you've cast this turn, and then you can pay 50 life. Jeez. Uh, Aether Flux Reservoir deals 50 damage to target creature or player. I like that they added, added creature there. Yeah. Everyone. Yeah. Do you think this super would super uh, threatening threat? Do you, yeah. Do you think this would uh, find a home in Soul Sisters? Potentially, yeah. As like a one of. It seems pretty good. It seems pretty good. And we have a swamp, and a nothing. Would be another way to end the game. Yeah. You can deal with all your creatures. Okay. So this is. I'm gonna save the Chandra pack for last. I'm gonna do one of these. The Demon of Dark Schemes. Yeah. Because the Chandra pack obviously has to have a Chandra in it. Or uh, I'm going to go home and cry. So, don't want that. We can't have that. Uh, Blossoming Defense. Creeping Mold. Glimmer of Genius. And hopefully we get a little glimmer of Chandra. We didn't. It's an Aether Storm Rock. Rock and roll. So it costs 2 and 2 white. 3-3. Three, three, flying. Whenever it or another creature enters the battlefield under your control, you get an energy. When it attacks, you may pay two energy. If you do, it gets a plus one, plus one counter on it and tap up to one target creature, defending player controls. That's pretty good. Yeah. And I think there might be a foil in here. No. I was wrong. I was mistaken. It felt like uh, more cards than it was. Let's do this one. Hijack. Okay. Ballista Charger, Imperial Voyager, Gearshift Ace, and... Oh, please, oh, please, oh, please. Nope, Deadlock Trap. There's Chandra. That doesn't count. <laughs> I don't know if that counts. So it costs three, enters the battlefield tapped, and when it enters the battlefield, you get two energy, and you can tap it, pay an energy, target creature, tap target creature or planes what? Really? Oh, okay. It's activated abilities can't be activated this turn. And it's one of the story things. Oh, it is too. Three out of five. But you, I've mean, done them in order. Planeswalker, you could just planeswalk out of the trap. You you could, in <laughs> in theory. Um, Be like, oh no, they caught me in a cage. Whoop. <laughs> uh oh. Maybe it's like a super magical, awesome magic cage. Prevents planeswalking. That yeah, why not? Of course, then they just weaponize it, and they have a way yeah. to yeah. Yeah, that's in the next set. So, got two packs left, kind of. I'm in the middle of one. Yes. <laughs> Imperial Voyager, Gearshift Ace. Isn't this exactly what I just... Maybe? Yeah, I don't know. Start your engines, and I'm not going to look. I'm not just not going to look. I'm not going to look over here. And then I'm going to look back and be extremely disappointed by a fateful showdown. Cost two and two red, instant. Deals damage to target creature or player equal to the number of cards in your hand. Discard all the cards in your hand, then draw that many cards. That's also actually a story card. Oh, it is too. Four to five. What's five out of five? Because obviously we're opening crack. that next. Oh, did we already get it? No, that was three. That's three, yeah. Yeah. Huh. Hopefully five out of five is Chandra. Anyway, uh, that's actually not, that doesn't seem bad, actually. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah. Oh! 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 
it's not a good one. <laughs> it's okay, but it's sweet because uh, yeah, it's it's a sculpting it's a thing. Steel. Sculpting steel. You know, I wanted to I wanted to open one of these just because I wanted to see what it looks like, and it looks really cool. That is amazing. It looks really cool. So I'm gonna I'm gonna say what that is. Uh, costs three colorless. You may have sculpting steel enter the battlefield as a copy of any artifact on the battlefield. It's pretty cool. And, uh, that's, that's what it looks like. It's pretty nice. Pretty good, cool foiling process there. It's kind of like the, uh, from the vault foils, like in terms of, like, it's vertical, too. Yeah. But, uh, it doesn't feel quite as, quite as cheap as those. I'm gonna read the flavor text on this, cause they're pretty sweet on all yeah. these. Uh, perfected by the kinetic sculptor Shanti Makam. These self-assembling metal strands can be coaxed into any shape imaginable. So that's a really that's a really sweet card. And you know what this also means? That in terms of like special pulls, like expeditions and yeah. and now these, we are three for three. It's pretty impressive. That is pretty impressive. It also means he probably won the value. I probably did, yeah. I mean that isn't one of the better pulls. Like it's fine. It's it's not the best card that they offer. Offer on the side is but uh, it's pretty good. So anyway, let's open the Chandra pack now and hopefully get a Chandra, and then this box can be uh the best thing ever. That looks really cool on camera to me for some reason. <laughs> okay. So it's pretty good. It's pretty good. I'm pretty happy now. So, uh, got a whole bunch of stuff that we're gonna go through. I was kinda get, actually getting worried because aren't you always supposed to pull, pull like a foil rare? And we haven't yet. So, that was good. That was good. I mean, it's always gonna be the outlier cases. Sure, but it's not common, right? To to not pull a foil rare in a box. Furious Reprisal. Weapon Craft Enthusiast. Perpetual Timepiece. And you know what? We need a little... We need a little boopster rub. A little butt loving. A little butt loving. <laughs> to pull... Fleet Wheel Cruiser. Womp. I mean, it's a car that can drive itself. That is true. If it's the one I'm thinking of. Uh... Yes. Yes, it can. <laughs> it's a driverless car. So it costs four. It's a five three with trample and haste. When it enters the battlefield, it becomes an artifact creature until end of turn, and it has crew two. And maybe no planes. planes. All right. So uh, that's pretty good. It's a it was a pretty good box. We didn't pull a Chandra, but we did pull a masterpiece. We did pull a Dovin Bond so. and a Dovin Bond. Yeah. So one planeswalker, one masterpiece. Pretty good. Um, I would say, you know, we're because we don't know what the values are, but I'm pretty sure I won. Yeah, so, it seems uh, likely. So it seems likely that I'll be going first in the Super Sealed next week. So stay tuned for that. And, uh, yeah. Signing off. Bye.